Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm gonna be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. Just got through with a big show. I know yep. you went to it. Mm -hmm. so, did you have a good time? Yeah, had a good time. All right, that's all, that's yep. all that matters. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah, I've been practicing. Let's go to commercial. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety, and KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, ride in apparel, accessories and footwear. While you're in town, Go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. I got two announcements to make right quick, and then we're going to watch a couple of videos. East Tennessee Fall Classics this weekend, the 20th, 22nd, uh, located at Smoky Mountain Expo. Call Bill Daltrey, 423-836-3607. Start time Friday night is 6, Saturday night is 5. Judges, Derek Monahan, Chad Adams, and Sam Hamilton. Alabama Jubilee is 21st through the 22nd. In Decatur, Alabama, this is the last show. Call Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. the last show that will ever be in Decatur. They yep. have sold that arena. Start time is Friday night is 6. Saturday night is 5. Brent Greider, Ryan Parker, and Chris Zan will be the judges. And my buddy Roy Wester is looking at getting together so we can live stream it. If we do, there will be announcements on my Facebook, the Water Horse Facebook, Jerry B. Texan yes. people, mm -hmm. and we will be live streaming it through Facebook and YouTube at no charge. All you got to do is get on get and on watch. Yeah. All right, uh, before we get started, Real into this, I want to bring up the fact that we still have a little bit of Richard's jewelry left. It is marked to sell, people. We got to get rid of it. Tie tacks, earrings, you got, you name it, I got it, and we have got it marked down to where you want something for Christmas. Now's the time to get it. I will make you a deal. Wonderful Christmas gifts. Wonderful. I mean, I can, I can do, I can do wonders. Just you just don't believe the deals I can give. 
said we want it to go before 2023. Birthdays, Christmas, all these things coming up here. Halloween. Halloween, <laughs> yep. Just, just to buy a gift, just to give somebody something. Yeah, just say, hey, honey, I love you. But what is it? National, whatever the wife wants. Yes. Day is they, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, I believe that. They also said, had one as a husband day. I didn't believe that worth a flip either. <laughs> My be, be some kind of birthday. I can yep. tell you that. Never work, never work, never work. But I can tell you this right here is it. Them down, them diamond studs. Yeah. I got a deal on them. Also, there's always a place for a horse. The Todds out here, Justin and Jackson. They can get it done, I'm telling you folks. Give them a call. You got one that you don't know what to do with? Make one heck of a trail horse. Competition, you got versatility, you got all of it. Extreme cowboy competition. You name it, Justin and Jackson can get it done for you. It'd be worth a hurry. while just to take your horse and let them teach them how to do that. And then your friends come around, you can show them the tricks your horse know how to do. <laughs> That's it. You know? I mean, it. They it's get amazing. them where they're ready to go, and, yep. and you, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. Four three four eighty four twenty nine three one area code. You I like it because it they take the time with them. They do. They teach them. They, they take. They don't push them. They yeah. don't shove them. They, they don't just force them to do it. Let them go through it yeah. and get it done. That's about the way to do it. Look at there. Mike can take them and teach them how to walk up some steps at your house or something That's like right. that. That's right. Come on in. Now I'm fixing to make a bunch of people mad. You think I will? No, you're just telling the truth. I mean, I am telling the truth. Everybody knows that we're in a bind about what's going on in Washington and everything. Everybody knows there's meetings everywhere to raise funds to battle this. And fellas, I'm just going to make a make a statement. I love my horses. I don't. I, I got two that I show. And if I can sell them, I'll sell them. A lot of people have one that they show. Some people have ten that they show. Some people may own thirty and only show two. But here's what I'm going to suggest because. We keep going back to the same people over and over and over again and asking them to do the funding. Well, I brought up in the country, I always had to pay my way. Yes. So I'm going to make a suggestion to everybody out there. They can call Warren Wells, they can call Jeffrey Howard, they can call whoever. And no, I have not talked to them about this. This is simply something that I've thought about, and I'm going to say it. It's everybody's obligation to support our lawsuit. It's yes. not one person. It's not two people. Mm -hmm. It's an industry-wide obligation. So everybody says, well, I can't afford it. Well, here it is. If you can afford a horse, you can afford what I'm fixing to say. There was over 580 horses showed or entered in North Carolina, yes. I was told. Is that, is that yeah, about right? About, about right. Mm -hmm. If everybody that entered a horse paid one hundred dollars, that's fifty-eight thousand dollars towards the lawsuit. But here's the big one: everybody that showed a horse at the celebration. Now there's over twenty-five hundred entries. Yes. If everybody that showed a horse had an entry at the celebration. If they paid $100 per entry, then the people that can afford horses have more horses. It just stands to reason. And the people who cannot afford a bunch of horses like me, they can afford, if I entered, I had one, so I can afford $100. No, yeah. If you're in the horse industry and you can't afford $100 for each one of them horses that you're showing, 
then I hate to tell you, but you need to get out of the horse industry because it, this is an obligation for everybody. I've heard some people say, well, I, I can't give a whole lot. Nobody's asking you to give a whole lot. They're asking you to give what you can. can yeah. But people, I'm telling you right now, it's just like a bucket. You keep punching holes in a bucket, pretty soon that bucket ain't got no more water in it. And you keep going to the same people wanting them to take care of you and, and take care of this lawsuit. Eventually, it's going to get to where that they can't. Well, you just got to so, pitch in. That's the biggest thing. That's it. You, pitch you, in. You just got to pitch in. Now we're everybody helping everybody. We're going to watch video. I done made everybody mad, so we're going to watch some video from North Carolina Championships. Here's your amateur owned and trained. I'm, I'm going to tell you, they can say what they want to, but I believe this young lady is an amateur uh, trainer. <laughs> That's exactly oh, what yeah. she is. Ferrari 308 and Dahlia Smith Hard took the blue in this class. Ready to play, and Dr. David Bullock was reserved. Exploited, Paul Robbins. The jazz player, Sabrina Matthews. Cody Marie Brandon. And on Creed, Rich is Rhythm, Chris Burton. I'm Shady, Summer Compton. And I'm Stilly Down, Renee. Stilly Dan, I'm sorry. And Renee Conley finished out the ribbon. It's just a great class here. I love to watch these amateur oh, yeah. on the drain. It is. Because when you, when you get down to it, in all honesty, some of these amateur trainers, they can flat get it done. Yeah. I know a lot of people get mad because they, they may call their buddy and say, look, I know you're training on the side. How about taking mine? That, that's not what this is for. Yeah. This is for the horses you own. Oh, yeah. But I tell you what, now you're looking pretty good right oh, there. Yeah. I tell you, they had a lot of nice horses in that class right they there. They had a lot of people, but yeah. North Carolina always does. There she is, Ferrari 308, and Dahlia Smith are for owner Kenny Smith. Call Kenny and ask him about doing an ad. He says, by show. <laughs> tell you what, Dahlia can ride. Yes, yeah, she can. That young lady can ride. She, she can ride. She does a good job. Right here's a great ride for Can Do. Kid can do. And Robert Dorch. Oh, Robert's a good one now. He, oh, yeah. he is. And that kid can do. Now, they can say what they want to, but I can see roses in his future. Oh, yeah. He just keeps getting better. Oh, he is a good horse. i tell you something about that show right there. That crowd will get behind a horse and, he's, and they let you know about it. Oh, yeah. You know. They'll let you know who they like. Who they like. And, and I got, it ain't always home cooking because if one comes in there from someplace else they'll, they like better, better. Yeah. they'll change horses yeah. in a heartbeat. You're right. Right here's your Pro-Am. Me and Pocahontas. Allison Armstrong and Tyler Balkum took the blue for Allison. I'm Charlie Daniels and Brandon Alshire and Jennifer Bingham. Street deal, McCoy A.B. and Allen A.B. That finished out the ribbons in that class. Yeah. Right there is Allison. She can get it done. Well, you know, Jerry, when, when we're talking about the helping on this lawsuit, it's everybody's obligation. Oh, yes. Now, it really is. And I still believe that sooner or later, everybody's going to kind of wise up and they're going to start looking at the situation that we're in and start having an equine veterinarian check these horses before they ever go to inspection when the government's there. Yes. Because to be quite honest, I no longer trust them. No. I can't say, I, I, I like the head guy. Now he's, he's all right. But some of these people they're bringing in here to inspect horses are doing some things that, that are worse then there's a scar here, even though it's three yes. cells thick. Mm -hmm. Now that has always been the worst I've ever heard. 
me and Pocahontas, Allison Armstrong, and Tyler Malcolm take the blue. The Pro-Am. Tell you what, old Allison, she just tickled to death. Tyler puts good yeah, horses Tyler in there. Tyler puts good horses in there. He done a real good job. Amateur five-year-old Marin Gildan. Now this this one went quick. Yeah. The Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith Hard took the blue for Kenny Smith and Hard and Hard. A code of honor. Heidi McWilliams was reserved, and Charlie's ritzy lady, Sarah Coffee Burks, finished out the ribbons. Tell you it. I just don't see, in all honesty, how a hundred dollars, if you own horses, is going to hurt you. Yeah, now, I, I don't. don't. I don't see it either. Mm. But we got to do something because <clears throat> I just tell you, them government when they they'll pick out a person that they're going to pick on all that show, and they're going to do it regardless on what yeah. horses they bring or whatever. They're going to check every horse come from out of that barn or on that person that had it. Well, I can assure you, any time that, that I'm one of mine's going, there will be an equine veterinarian checking him before he goes. If yes. he says he's HPA compliant, then he's going. If he says he ain't HPA compliant, then I ain't going to we'll take, take him. Yeah. But I will trust an equine veterinarian, especially one that I'm paying, rather than one that's sent in here to destroy an industry. And right now, that's what we're looking at. That's why I'm so passionate about people jumping in and helping yes. on this lawsuit. Right there she is, the Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith Hart. Did you hear Bob Roach in the background? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Bob because he is the one that has furnished the video for this week's show. And we got every bit of it from Bob Roach. And Charlie. I don't want to leave Charlie out. Yeah. Leave Charlie out. He, <laughs> might, he, he might try to put some of them shoes <laughs> upside my head. <laughs> but I'm sure Charlie was videoing too. Yes. <laughs> I know when, when I called and asked, asked Bob about getting video, Charlie answered his phone. He, and I started talking to Bob. He said, well, this is Charlie on Bob's phone. <laughs> All right, we, we got to... More video. <laughs> that horse stand was real good. They exhibited out there. It's true blue. That, I'll tell you what, this right here, this this is a little horse with a lot of heart. Yes. That can just, I mean, he, you know, who he, and, and I know he doesn't look like him. But main power was a little, little horse, horse with yeah. a lot of heart. And he could flat get it too. Well, a little horse can do it. I remember, you remember Reggie's little boy. That's right. Was a good, was a little oh, horse. Oh, was a, oh. Mud uh, slide slim. slim. Mm -hmm. Oh. There's so many out there. Mike's mighty delight. Yeah. Now, buddy, he was reserved but behind one of the, one, one that I think is the best all around was one of the best all around bumming around yeah but now mike's mighty delight was dead on his heel yeah put on a heck of a show right here's another one yeah i know jake's just proud of speak oh, yeah. on this horse true blue and he gets the blue yeah yeah Tell you what, there's a lot of people at that show. Oh yeah, it was. That's one thing I noticed right off the bat that it was well attended. And you know, pretty much every night was pretty much had a lot of people in there. Well, you know, the last time that I went to North Carolina show, of course, this year I couldn't go because of my finger, having to keep having the dressing changed on it. But when I was up there, I watched them, and they'd get behind the horse like we was talking yeah. earlier. But then when another horse stepped up and started doing better. They changed change horses, horses in a heartbeat. Yeah. Most strange. people know horses. And this was the stands. Yeah.
we need more of these right oh, here. Yeah. Showing off our horse, showing That's what right. we got. Showing what's out there. You are exactly right about that. RM and Spencer makes this, makes a good team. Yeah, they do. They really do. Yeah. He's quiet too. Yeah, he's very he's quiet. Very quiet. He ain't like it. And that lady down in Mississippi that was telling Jeremy what she thought. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I thought that was you can't judge. <laughs> Jeremy said, no one ever said that. I said, she said it to you, yeah. did <laughs> oh, We got to, uh, you got to do your job. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Wynn is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. More of What a Horse, coming up. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've, we're sitting here talking about the government. We're going to start video every time. Whenever it's ready, it's going to start yep. rolling, and we're going to be talking about it. This right here is a show pleasure class, I believe. Yeah. Yes, sir. This was, I'm going to tell you, Georgia, Florida line. Oh, yeah. Showed Man, twice. Show. Now, it, this, this right here, I want everybody to listen to this. Georgia, Florida line showed twice mm -hmm. in three days. Yep. Now that goes to show right there the condition of these horses. And he wasn't the only one that did it. There was others. But Georgia, Florida line, and he won the Riders' Cup. Now this was in the preliminary. Yeah. The Cochise and Janie Chapman was reserved. Lake Weaver and Hard Eight was third. The American Patriot, Tyler Balkum. Kick it to the moon, Chris Zan. Thunder in the sky, Derek Monahan. Quinn, Jeremy Jensen. And Sleepless Night, Jackie Byron finished out the ribbons. Now this right here was a tough class. Yeah, it was a tough class. There's nice horses in that class. There's Jeremy. Yeah. He's getting it done. Right there he is. Georgia, Florida line in Knox nice Blackburn horse. for Robert Dorch. Now he did that 
Right here he is winning. He comes back and wins the roses. Mm hmm. So, I mean, he, he, what more can you ask that's, for? That's you exactly right. But I, I believe this, and of course, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, they don't take it out on you. But here's a amateur show pleasure specialty. It was a big class right here. Oh, it was a nice class. Yeah. means he showed three times. People that watch it. Oh yeah. Well, see your amateurs. You had to open. Yeah. Then your amateur show. Amateur show. Uh huh. And right there yeah. is the amateur Georgia, Florida Lion and Robert Dorch. The coach, he's he's superstar general. Stretch your dollar. Yeah. He's a jailbird. There was a bunch of other horses in oh, that yeah, class. There was good horses. A bunch of good horses in that class. But it was Robert. And the Georgia Florida line took the blue in this class. That says a lot for the horse. It wins oh, yeah. the open competition, then wins the amateur the competition. competition. Yeah. All at the same show within three days. Yeah. Right here is your four year old Marin Gill. This was a good class. Yeah. Honor and salute and Kayla Balkum took the blue. Quite an honor and John Allen Calloway was reserved. She's my shady lady, Derek Monahan. Hey, here I am, Scott Beatty. Dim the lights, Knox Blackburn. Balsam rain, Range, Blaze Picard. See me walk and shake, Tanner Burks. And Grayton Beach, Jake Jacobs finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you, quite an honor had their following, too. Oh, yeah. They were reserved in the class, but they made a heck of a show. And Beth shows that mare a lot. Yeah. Now, she's nice now. Right there she is. You can always tell that horse. Oh, yeah. When John Allen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, he, he makes it stand out. But they had a nice show there. You know, it was cool, but it wasn't too cool. Yeah. That, that, I'm gonna tell you what now, this cold weather, when if, if the horse shows outside, that hurt these horses. Oh yeah. But now inside, it's not that bad. Right there he is, quite an honor, and John Allen Calloway for Beth Beasley. I tell you what, I love that mare myself. I really do. That's a nice mare. She sets up in the heads, bridle. Headset, use both ends. That's what you want. Yep. 
and that's what she's got. I watched Beth ride her. Beth can really ride her yeah, good too. Gee. Here's your South Carolina Walk and Horse Association members only. Now this is amateur here, yeah. and I was tickled for that guy. Uh -huh. Mr. Farrell and Paul Simmons won the blue. The Night King and Jeff Smith Reserve. Charlie's Ritzy Ladies, Sarah Coffee Burks. Bandits Northern Lights, Paige Brown. And Fire and Rain, Cliff Rivers. I'm so happy for Paul. Paul, I said I'm so happy for Paul. Hey, I am too. He, he, he works at it now. He has been in a lot of classes that yes. I honestly thought he won. Yep. That he would come up second or third. And uh, I just thought that being tied up there close to your home. That's right. That's pretty good. You really enjoy it. Well, he, he, he's a good guy to talk to. Yes. A uh, very interesting person. Right there he is, Mr. For Real and Paul Simmons. Tell you what, that is a nice horse. Oh, yeah. You know, I was looking at uh, Arms Deal For Real has got, I think, 44 world champions. Uh-huh. They breed him to better mares. They'd probably have more than that. Oh, yeah. Right there's, right there's a super good horse. Right here's your youth 11 and under. You know, this was interesting because I, I talked to different people about this class and they said it was fun. But what was really neat is after this class was over with the two winners, the first and reserve had their picture made together. Yeah. It's the medalist, and Eli Cunningham took the blue for Wilson and Cunningham. Coolhan and Ali Joe Jacobs for Ali Joe. Pride of Oopsie Doo, Brindley Boyce. Blue Ray, Madison Plemons. Schofield, Elizabeth Thomas. Finished out the ribbons. But it was that young man right there in the medalist that took the yeah. blue. I tell you what, little man, he rides aggressive. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Now, he really does. He rides very aggressive. He goes after it. And she does, too. Oh, yeah. Because she don't take no back seat to oh, nobody. No, she don't. <laughs> I'm proud of these kids when they get oh, yeah, out there and do. really, they really, really go. Now, here's another horse that showed twice, both of them. Matter of fact, there's more than that in that class. Right there he is. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham to the blue. Can't ask for nothing no better oh, no, than you that. Can't. That's a nice horse. But right here, reserve yeah. was Ali Joe Jacobs on Colhan. And she looks, she look, look there. Now these horses show twice. Yeah. So they here they are in the preliminary. Then they come right back for the championship on Saturday night. Yeah. And it's the medalist, Cole Hahn, Pride of Oopsie Doo, and Blu ray right there again. Yeah. Now there's four horses that showed twice. Yeah. Plus the earlier ones. So I'm going to tell you for people to talk about our horses, Jerry. Seems to me like they are uh, 
in pretty good shape. Yeah. How many did y'all show up there? We showed five all together. Yep. And they was after you. Yeah. Well, from what I heard, they was after just about everybody. Oh, they was. I mean, Parting hair, doing whatever they could. Good. You know, I'd, but, I'd, I'd like to know how many of them were with the Humane Society before they ever come with the USDA. Well, the, the biggest thing that gets me, Jerry, on this, they can check one horse and turn him down on scar rules this week and turn around next week and check the same horse and pass, and pass him. him the next week. And what was it that we were told four or five years ago? Once scarred, always scarred. scarred. Yeah. So, I mean, or one horse can show one week the, the day before and get in. Yep. And the next day, they get scarred. Yep. It, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham won his championship and got them roses, but his grandfather ended up with them roses. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I talked to him. He said that, uh, that those right there said they broke, so they gave him another set, and James got them. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Eli says, I need them for my room, and James, I think I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Cole Hahn and Ali Joe to the reserve. I'd hated to be the one there judging that. Yes, me too. Because those are two real good horses. But little man now, he, he does ride aggressive. Mm. And she does too. Like you said, them little fun shows. I hate to be the judge. Oh, <laughs> I, these kids are just, I, I love to watch them show. But the thing I got was after it was over with, they had their picture made they, together. Yeah. Now here's one. This was your 12 to 17. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. Honorette and Carlson Adams was reserved. Jose's Tomboy and Sammy White. Pitbull and Caitlin Dussel and Jazz Prince and Carrington Stampler finished out the ribbons. This was a tough class. That was a tough class. And I mean tough. Right there is your winner, Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley, 12 to 17 winner. You know, another thing that was fun about this show in the mornings, everybody's out there riding horses. Yep. Mm -hmm. You meet, you're talking to people you haven't talked to in a while. You Camaraderie. See. Yeah. That's one thing I like about Tunica. Down here, I know they have cookouts in North Carolina. Right yep. here is your 12 to 17 championship. And listen to this. Super Bowl MVP comes back and wins the championship. Chris Kyle was in this one with Jake, Jake Jeffries, but Jose's Tomboy was back in there again, and so was Pit Bull. Yeah. So all these horses showed twice. Oh yeah. And that's that's the thing I want people to realize is that if they were abused, harmed, there ain't no way they could do that. Yes. And that to me that that speaks volumes when you got horses that can show multiple times at a three night show. I remember one year Sandman showed all three nights at one show. Oh yeah. People just need to realize that we have a very talented horse. The talent is there. Baby. She gets with it, you know. Oh yeah, she she likes it. She likes the showing. 
I like watching her ride when she's out the barn that day. Yeah. D.B. Beasley and Super Bowl MVP, your youth 12 to 17 champion. Good deal right yes. there, buddy. I'm the, I love to watch them youngsters ride me too. and show I like, I like to more than ride. anything. Yeah. Let me make sure that we're going to do the right thing, and we are. You're up. We'll be right back after <laughs> these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Welcome back. I want to remind everybody, I believe you're supposed to speak to uh, Don Collins well, there's a tribute to him tomorrow night, Thursday night, yes, mm -hmm. at the Blue Ribbon the Room Blue Ribbon. on the Celebration yes. Grounds. And Don will, Don Collins will be missed. Yes. Believe me. Also, Patty Abernathy, uh, she passed away. Yeah. Now she is. Patty was one of a kind. Now she yeah. really was. She was a fine lady. My condolences to the Abernathys. Amateur four-year-old stallions. Everybody likes this class. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock took the blue. I will honor thy father, Kenny Compton. Captain Woodrow Call, Lacey Matthews. The Blackstone, Kelly Manis. Zorro Jr., Beth <coughs> Beasley. El Hombre in Black, Jake Jacobs. And Chaotic, Ashley Case finished out the ribbons. I tell you what, it's hard to beat one of Bob Adcock's horses. Yes. But now that El Zorro Jr., that's a good horse. That's a good horse. Yeah. A real nice horse. He was one I had tagged as a, a dark horse for the celebration. Yeah. I believe he used up what? Reserve? Um, Bob, he really. He really get into riding the horses now. He, <laughs> he gets into it, buddy. Nice guy. He don't, he don't let no grass grow on his feet. No. There's a bunch of good ones out there. He is. That was a good, that was a real good class of horses. Uh, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Honored in Texas, there ain't nothing short about him. I tell you what, I like the Zorro. I like it. El Hombre in black. Yeah, I call him. Honored in Texas, and Bob Adcock took the blue. He told me to tell you to say something nice about him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice man. He's, He's a, a nice man, man buddy. He's a nice man. He, I tell you, he's a 
I always enjoy talking to him. I tell you what, it's hard to beat Bob. That uh, really uh, is. He uh, he's uh, one of enjoy. these that that just I mean he's always got that smile uh, on his yes. face. Uh -huh. Amateur 15, two and under, and guess what? What's that old saying? Arnold Schwarzenegger says, I'm back. I'm back, yeah. <laughs> well, Bob Adcock says, I'm back. A kingpin and Bob Adcock wins the 15 to and under amateur knockdown drag out in Joe Manis Reserve. I am Charlie, Cheryl Markham, the jazz player, Sabrina Matthews. I am William Wolf, Emily Kaiser Jackson, and I am busting loose Kelly Duchelle. I tell you what, that I really like that I am busting loose yeah. horse now. That, that sixth place finish surprises me. But now Kingpin and Bob Adcock, that doesn't surprise me. That is one nice horse. On the reverse, on this class right here, Mr. Bob stopped right in front of me. Bill was there coaching him, and I turned around and I said, now you got to ride hard. <laughs> I said, you winning already, so you might go ahead and win the class. Well, I tell you what, he does now. He rides. Yeah, he rides now. He ain't out there just messing around. He's getting with it. No busting loose look good on the rail there. Yeah. There he is, a kingpin in Bob Adcock. Look at there. Yeah, that's a nice horse. Real nice. He must have known he'd gonna win. He he's got on a blue jacket yep. to match the blue <laughs> ribbon. I'm gonna ask him about that. That's right. I'm gonna tell you, amateur stallions. I don't care what they say. Summer Brooks put on the show. Look at there. Yeah. I told Dwight when I talked to him, I said, buddy, she had him rocking yeah. and rolling. The black listener. And Summer Brooks took the blue, legal tender, and Sherry Bonner was reserved. Jose's Thunderstruck and Baron Weatherspoon was third with Jukebox Charlie and Justin Cole finishing out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, the way she rode this horse right yeah. here, it'd make the hair stand up on your neck. Oh now. yeah. She uh, she put on a show. She really did. I don't know whether a man could talk them into selling that one or not. <laughs> Cause he, even, it, she even had Dwight tore up. Baron made a good show in his class, too. Yeah, he did. Yep. There's a bunch of good horses in that class. There was a good horse in there. That, that black listener just stood out yeah. in there to me. Oh, yeah. And he keeps getting lighter and lighter all the time. Right now, Summer rode him. Yeah. She rode him well. I told her that's the, that's the best I've ever seen her show that horse. good. Oh yeah. Good horse. Mm -hmm. Amateur, amateur specialty. Cheating on Charlie took the blue in this class with Caitlin Ripley and Whitley Green for Andy Ripley. But I'm going to tell you, Allison Armstrong and Joe Manis had a big following on Twisted with Honors. Yeah. 
Lady. She can ride that horse. Cash Agenda and Jimbo Connors, Lexi Stinnett. Ready to play, Dr. David Bullock, Martin Cox. Melanie, Amanda Blackburn and Jennifer Bingham. The Legal Tender, Cheryl Bonner and Ryan Loha. Usher, Sandy Brumbog, Kenny Compton. And High Maintenance, Sister Milligan and Joseph. Jason Joseph finished out the ribbons. It was so funny. In his class, sister rode both ways. She what? She rode both ways in his class. She come in on a black horse, and, and then she end up turning on, 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 on a white horse. If, if you didn't know no better, you'd look up. And didn't, didn't sister, what are you trying to pull? <laughs> Here he is, twisted with honors, and Joey, Allison Armstrong, and Joe Manor. But you know, you can do stuff like that because it's an amateur. Yeah, amateur well, glass, you know, you can, you know. Get off one, get, get on another. another one, because it's amateur, amateur. Well, sister's a piece of work now. Yeah. She, she is something else. Here's your youth ponies. This was tough. Don't take a no back, back seat. Yeah. I am big enough in Maxine Beasley. Now that horse showed twice. Yeah. Because Bill showed it once. Versace's Dollar and KJ Compton, our girl Charlie and Caitlin Peeler, and the ultimate honor, Lexi Coffer finished out the ribbons. I, in this class, it was a good class. I really liked this class. But I am big enough to the blue. Maxine says, I can't be outdone. I want to go home with a blue too. <laughs> Tell you what, both of them young ladies can flat ride a horse now. Mm -hmm. They do not take a back seat to anybody. I know that just makes Beth that much prouder. Yeah. That's the thing about this industry. We got a lot of proud parents with children out there showing, showing a lot. Oh, yeah. Here's your experienced trainers, 36 and over. Well, that really covers Jimmy McCollum. Yeah. He's about twice that. El Hombre in Black and Jimmy McConnell took the blue for Jake Jacobs. Dreamcatcher, Santana and Winky Groover reserve. Tua, Knox Blackburn. And Joe Jacoby, Derek Bonner finished out the ribbons. I would say the most experienced trainer in there won the class. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna ask him next time I see him. I'm gonna ask him how he got in that class. Hmm. Tell you what, old Jimmy, you fool around, he'll beat you every time. Oh yes, yeah, so you're right about that. Right there he is, El Hombre in black and Jimmy McConnell for Jake Jacobs. Your experienced trainer's 36 and over winner. I'll tell you what, he's looking good now. Good deal, Jimmy. Right here, four-year-old stallions. I love his horse that won that. Oh yeah, that's a good horse. Honor and remembering Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis took the blue. The great I am and Tyler Balcom for the Mark Ricker family. Pride of NRA, Derek Monahan for Ricky Fraser. Streetline, McCoy Aby, Tony Roberts, and Empty Pockets, R.M. Kelly for LD and Tammy Austin. Finished out the ribbons. It was a good class, right? Yeah, here. they're going after it too. Yeah. Dan's horse is real good. Um, Tyler Balkan's horse is real yep. good in here. There 
Tyler. It's a good horse. There he is, yeah, he honor is. and remembering Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. I know Kim was tickled pink. <laughs> honor and remember. Hey, what well, we we got a lot of great four-year-olds oh, yeah. out got there. A lot of good I mean, horses. good ones. Yes. the amateur championship always a good class yeah and my buddy jake jacobs took the blue in this class on jose it ain't so a dixie general and laura mooney was reserved bobby bones michael mosteller starting lineman jimmy Sauls, pocket time donald robinson and mb us john allen calloway finished I wonder what John Allen was doing in that class. That couldn't have been, that can't, no. that has to be a misprint. A misprint right there. It has to be. Bobby Bones was second in that class. i tell you who was riding that horse, Kim Leonard. <laughs> yeah. I grant you. I don't think she could no. pass for John Allen. Yeah. It's a big difference between her and John Allen. Yeah. <laughs> About at least. I, I, I ain't going to say how many pounds. John Allen, a big, big old boy. Right there he is. It ain't so in Jake Jacobs. Yeah. I always made a real, a real show. Yeah. Jake wrote him real good. I tell you what, Jake's a good rider now. Oh, yeah. he, can, he can flat ride a horse. He can set that saddle. I like him roses that oh, yeah. he's wearing. That's good, good to have. Something to remember there. Yep, yeah, you're right. All right. I want to remind everybody that Don Collins uh, Memorial is tomorrow night, Thursday yes. night, at the Blue Ribbon Room on the celebration grounds. Rounds, yes. And I also want everybody to pray for the Abernathy yeah. family. They uh, lost their mother, Vicki. <laughs> Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. 